Hey guys, it's the Finn Means Win, and welcome back to episode 8 of the Everton series and the February monthly review, as well as today's live commentary. As always, um, I'll show you the fixtures first that we did play. Obviously, there wasn't many to be played, just the two in total. Obviously, that was the last live commentary, the two all draw against um, Sunderland. Then we played um, Norwich again for the second time in two, third time in two months, sorry, this time in the Premier League, and it did end up a two-all draw, um, much like the first time we played him in the FA Cup, it was a draw. Goals in this one, Clint Dempsey getting his first for the club, as well as Leighton Baines being on the score sheet. A disappointing draw, I mean, Norwich aren't the best of teams, sitting in 18th place in the Premier League at the moment, but we can only pick up a point away from home at Carrow Road, it's not the easiest place to go. And then in the next match, we certainly bounce back and have got four match unbeaten run now against teams that we should be. And I'm hoping to continue this in today's live commentary against Reading. 3 1 on the night. Um, two goals for Kevin Morelish and the other for Nikich Jelovic. The goals in this one for us. Charlie, uh, sorry, Peter Crouch with the goal for Stoke. So I'll just leave you now. This is the Premier Division as it stands. We are currently in 10th spot. After 28 games, we've won 11. Drawn 8, lost 9, scored 43, conceded 39 with a goal difference of 4. At the moment, we do have two games in, uh, Liverpool do have two games in hand or are above us, but there's only two points separating us between them. So we can try and put some pressure on them and maybe see if they can falter in the games in hand. Looking at the league table as a whole, surprising to see Southampton in 7th spot. I don't see that lasting long. As well as Newcastle living the um, top of the league at the moment, I don't see them lasting for long. Surprising, no surprises really when you look at the bottom. West Ham, Wigan, Norwich, and Villa in around the relegation zone. To be honest, it's the five, um, three from the bottom five will go down. I think Swansea have done enough just to keep their head above water. Four points clear of Reading in 16th spot. So it's between Reading, Villa, Norwich, Wigan, and West Ham, in my opinion, to go down. So as I've already said, today's live commentary is against Reading. Let's just check now. It's three days away, so what I'll do now is I'll um, pause the recording and I'll move straight into today's match. Now. So here then is today's live commentary against Reading, as I've previously mentioned. Reading team news today. Gunnison is unregistered and Noel Hunt is out of a sports hernia. They're the only players missing for them today. We have no players missing at the moment injury-wise. We do have Darren Gibson who will be missing out today though. Due to fitness he's still not recovered fully from his injury. Match fitness isn't up to scratch to be in the starting team. Odds were the favourite with Sky Bet with 4-7 on. You've got odds for the draw of 5-2 and Redden are 4-1 on to win. Reading goal scorers, top goal scorer this year is Hal robson Carnu with 12. Followed by Pavel Probge. Pogrebniak with 8 and Noel Hunt who is injured with 6 as you've seen before Nikit Jelovic leads our scoring charts with 14 so have a look at them today as team selection changed things around a bit today Tim Howard's going in goal usual back 4 of Baines, Heitiger, Jagielka, Neville Fellaini's partnering Anderson in the central midfield with attacking midfield 3 of Pienaar, Dempsey, Morelish and Jelovic leading the line up front on his own so let's continue now and submit today's team and we'll get things rocking and rolling once we've done the tactics, etc. Team talk, you know. Reading's team today, though, is as follows. Federici in net, Ian Hart left back, Casper Scorks, Pierce and Martin, the other defenders. Gunnison and Guthrie, central midfield, with um, the wingers in Hal Robson, Carno, Joey Makanov, Pavel Probiak and um, Jason Roberts up front for Reading. So they're going with a 4 4 2. As you can see, Ian Quinn from BBC Sports thinks Reading have found it difficult and they're going to go with an Everton home win because of the uh, missing Noel Hunt. Key players today, for us we've got Morelesh and for Reading Federici who, if he doesn't have a good game, probably will see his side on the losing end. The other fixtures today, we've got an, a London derby with Fulham Arsenal, Sunderland are hosting Stoke, West Brom at home to Norwich, West Ham are hosting Manchester City, Wigan at um, we're going to play in Villa and Man United are hosting Swansea let's continue to the opposition instructions now and we'll just skip past that team talk now we're just going to issue some team instructions we're going to exploit the flanks um, pass into space um, shoot on sight and uh, look for the overlap They these um, same instructions worked well against Stoke so hopefully they can continue to work well today as now we are into today's match you can see the usual pointless highlighter to start things off 
But looking at today's team, condition-wise, we're doing well for once. We seem to have fully shake off the Christmas period now as Jelovic tries, tries to challenge Gorks, but it's cleared away. Dempsey on the ball now to Anderson. He goes out wide to Phil Neville. Flips him Relish. Relish at the door. Oh, good save by Federici and Ian Harp to that for a throw-in. Good pressure here. Just under seven minutes into the first half now. Jelovic looking complacent, but a good start from today's key man in in um, um, Kevin Morelash as Anderson's condition has deteriorated very quickly. Might have to look to make a substitution now as we're 20 minutes into the game as Fulham take the lead over their North London rivals Arsenal. Half hour mark now approaching us. No real um, highlights as a wedding now on the attack with Guthrie squares it to. Um, I think that I'm not sure who that was but it forced a good shave out of Howard there and it's cleared behind for a corner again by Johnny Heisinger which Ian Hart will swing in headed towards the back post and it's fallen to Robson Khan who's gone back to Hart Anderson with a good foot in here now we can launch a counter attack if he switches the play he's got a man over but good defended by Martin there to win the throw in off Anderson and end the attack with that one 10 minutes to go before half time as Fulham go 2-0 up against Arsenal and we're not looking too good. I mean, we had that one good chance from uh, Morelish, but apart from that, a bit of a boring first half here. We're going to look to try and change things up now. So here then now is the half-time analysis. Looking at the thing, best player on the pitch was usual for us is Tim Howard. Not the ideal thing. I'm going to get the strategy and make it a bit more attacking. Reading aren't too great today. I mean, we've been this boring first half. They haven't really had many chances to know. Just have a look what I can change around here. Looking at the bench today, Maggie Guy maybe. Mm, I'll give this team, I'll give this boys 15, 20 minutes into the second half, then we'll make some changes. See if we can be more, be more of an attacking intent maybe. Will be the signal we need to change things around as we get the second half underway here with the usual pointless highlight, as I'm becoming to know. As there it is. I mean, great. Thanks for showing us the kickoff. Uh, not that I wanted to see it. Kevin Relish isn't playing very well today, but as Federici hits it long here, Pogba wraps in behind. Good save by Howard, but it's fallen to Robson Carney and it's gone all the way back out to um, Hart. There's uh, Dempsey picks the pocket there, and we're on the attack here with Fellaini. But that's all. I thought we could have had a good counter attack there if we move things quicker. Hour mark now into the game, and no real chances. A good save there by Howard, I must say, keeping us in the game. Could have been a lot different if Pogrebniap had scored there. This was 70 minutes in now, and we're just. Um, we're not showing any real signs of intent. I mean, we had that one chance from Morelish at the near post, but apart from that, we've not really been in it. Change the things to overload now as we've got Neville here thrown to Baines. Fellaini on the edge there, he shoots, and a good save by Federici, and it's gone out for a throw in. Decent shot by Fellaini, our first real challenge shot of the game, chance there. We've got 10 minutes to go. That's how poor we've been today. As usual in the live commentaries, we're just not clicking. We just can't seem to do it when the camera's rolling as Kebe comes on now. 89th minute. I just... I don't... See, look, the boys aren't playing too bad. As Baines throws it to Pienaar. Pienaar on the ball now in the midway half. He spreads it out wide. Phil Neville's not going to get to that in his old age. His old legs aren't getting to that as the referee blows for a full-time whistle. And it's a bore draw in a game that we should have won. Redden is sitting in his 16th spot. Before the kickoff today, and I mean, it's probably helped them, but it's certainly not helped us. We've claimed a point closer over Liverpool, but apart from that, that's it. Now let's obviously let's continue out of today's game. As you can see, the other results in this one: Ars uh, Fulham beat Arsenal, Sunderland beat Stoke, West Brom beat Norwich, Man City just beat Wig um, West Ham. Bit of a thump in there for Aston Villa over Wigan, 6-1. Look at the league table now. As you can see, Reading has dropped close to the league ta uh, relegation place, but. We're still sitting in temp but pretty comfortably. One point close to Liverpool, but now that's three games in hand they have on us. We'll continue now to have a look at the fixtures for the next episode ahead. So, as I've already said, not the greatest of results today for us. Could have come up with better. Hoping for a much better performance in the next game against Swansea, but next month isn't easy. I think we have the games against the likes of Chelsea, definitely. I think also we might have a game against Tottenham. Might not be Tottenham actually. I think we've already played them for this return leg of the second round of fixtures. As when the game's caught up, I'll show you the fixture list. Uh, here we go now. I can get the fixtures up and show you the results 
and fixtures for next month as Man United did manage to beat our next opponent Swansea 2-0 goals from Kagawa and Nani as I've already said there's the game against Swansea the month ahead got a game against Chelsea and I hope you guys are impressed the next live commentary will be the Merseyside derby against our bitter rivals Liverpool so I hope you tune in to view that one I hope it's going to be a very interesting game especially when we, we won the last derby where was it? it was quite a comfortable victory 2-1 in the end it was, good game that was for us, so hopefully I'll be looking for the same again. So that does round up today's episode today guys, if you do enjoy the series please leave a like and a favourite and any comments, put them in the comments section below. And until next time, I've been the Finn Means Win, goodbye.